said you even got a fight in April. Yes. So we've got, we're a couple months away from that. Yeah. Hello and welcome. The sheer reach and penetration of the coronavirus pandemic opened up a new front today with more of Italy the has overtaken China to have pubblici dunque l'Italia si blinda per Many more families are going to lose loved ones before their time. Now, amongst the many events cancelled worldwide because of the coronavirus pandemic are of course sporting the events. Sports world rocked by the coronavirus. April 11th was set to be Denzel's 13th fight. His breakthrough fight. We shot the majority of the episode, but because of the virus, we chose to reshoot to truly represent Denzel's process. What's going on, my man? You saying, bro? Are you good? I'm not too bad. Are you good? <laughs> Is probably the question I should be asking. You came out recently and tweeted that it's kind of halted your, your breakthrough fight. Like, how are you, what's, your, what's your thoughts and feelings surrounding this whole corona and how it's affected you? Yeah, it's not nice, it's nice job. I've been training since January. I think everything got shut down, like, mid-March. Like, three months of just, like, hard graft. Like, nearly there. I think we had, like, two and a half weeks to go to a fight now. Or three weeks, around three weeks, two, three weeks. And it was, like, nearly there. Like, don't shut that down yet. Then all of a sudden, yeah, shows are off everything shut down and like no one had an idea of when we'd be back with boxing. Me personally, I thought like it'd just slow me down and by now, I'd be pushing forward for some big fights. How are you turning this whole negative into a positive? Um, maybe that fight wasn't meant to be. Um, to be honest, I started, I called um, a friend of mine, Lewis, that does um, personal training and stuff and he was taking me on the pad in the park, and that got me in a better mindset. Even though Denzel was a growing public figure, there's a side then a story that many won't know. As you grow to learn more about the man Denzel, I head to his hometown, Wandsworth, to speak to one of the closest people to him. His story kind of changes because we grew up together, and he goes to Ghana for two years and comes back, um, and then came back when he was about 11, came back kind of different. He was a bit more stiff, like a bit more um, cool, humble, you know what I mean? He's determined. Like, you can't tell him no unless he goes there first. You know what I mean? So, like, even there's, there's things he had to sacrifice before he got um, fully serious about boxing. And there's certain things I was thinking, yo, I'm mad, you're, you're giving up that, you're leaving this for... It's mad, and you wouldn't think that it would get to this level, but he saw the vision. So I'll say that's what really that makes him stand up because he, he's got um, he's got the mind of a champion. He knows what he wants, and he will go for it no matter what. The key element to developing a strong mindset is self-awareness, knowing who and what you are, and what is needed to get to the desired goal. I met Denzel and Jan, and we did an activity that allowed him to assess his ability while prioritizing the areas he wants to enhance. We comprise some of the key features of boxing, where he rated himself amongst attributes such as strength, speed, movement, adjustability, and more. It really reflects you just from these stats here. Yeah, that's true. Still. Now, if I was to kind of like get you now to highlight your priorities, right? Mm -hmm. Ones that could be strengths that you want to maximize, yeah. but then things that you scored that you want to enhance, uh -huh. where would you then prioritize? Even though I feel like movement's my strong point, my movement as well. Okay. That's one thing I probably won't ever stop working on because yeah. that really gets you out of trouble, especially when you're tired. I'm not too fussed about the speed as long as my time is good, so I'd work on my timing rather than, yeah. rather than okay. speed. Right. My jab, my jab can definitely still improve. Yeah. Okay. Um, and my IQ. And IQ. Yeah, my IQ and defence, yeah. Those are things that will be very clear to see as well. And this is a great picture for you and us to yeah. kind of see what Denzel Bentley is going to be working on over, over the coming months. And well, I want to be remembered as one of the best fighters that, to come out of this country, if not one of the best fighters in the world, at least one of the best fighters to come out of the country. I want to win a few old titles, not just one, but you've got to see how I go down first and how my career is being handled and how my body holds up to Obviously, the, the sport's very intense, so my body holds up to it as I get older, how long I can last for, and things like that. But um, I, I ask for these 
they say tough fights because I want to be known as one of the one of the good fighters to then prove myself to be one of the best to come out of this country. For you to get there, things need to happen in place. Yeah, cool. Things need to happen, things need to develop. So let's just say even now in the next 12 months or so, what do you think needs to happen for you to start getting yourself in that um, direction? Um, I can say continue as I'm going, but then again, certain fights I need, man. I just need the fights with the guys with those rankings and those names. Get better fights, I don't know, win the British title, that'll push me forward as well. Of course it takes two to tango, innit? Like, I can have all the plans and goals I want, but if there's no one there for me to use as a stepping stones to reach them goals, it won't be possible. In order to compete at the highest level in boxing, there are factors that are out of your control. But speaking to Denzel, I've learned that he maximises his control. One of the things that I noticed from afar early on was that he was always training, even straight after his fights. It's clear that he wants to stay ready, keeping his body ready for whatever opponent comes his way. From what I've seen so far on social media, you're getting a lot of support. Yeah, it's lovely. It's really good to see. And like, what, what's, what's the news? You know your opponent? Yeah, 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 yeah. Who do you um, fight? put it out there, some, um, a guy from Manchester or Preston or something. I think that's the same place, isn't it? Um, he's called Mick Paul. Uh, 15 wins, two losses, but he's lost to the same person once, twice. Mm -hmm. So, he's got a good record. Season, probably been a pro for that 10 years plus. Um, he knows you around the ring, from what I've seen. But it should be a good fight, man. But, yeah. So, what, when did you find out? Your opponent. I found that a while ago, but to be honest, I thought I was fighting another guy called Marcus Morrison for his title. But when they announced the show, of course, he didn't take the fight. But when I got to it, um, I found out I was fighting him. And when I went through social media, I seen that he'd been getting ready from jump. That's crazy. So I'm happy that he's been getting ready, so there's no excuses. Yeah, yeah. He knew he was fighting me before I knew I was fighting him. We now have an idea on what Denzel wants to work on, where his goals lie, and who he is fighting. All roads lead to Saturday now as we conclude part one of Trust the Process.